Hello guys, in this lesson, we're gonna implement some convention and I'm gonna teach you two tips and tricks. You should use those tips and tricks will make Redux easy with you. We're gonna make our code cleaner and easy to read and to write also. We talked before that the type name should be the same in the reducer. For example, that's login and that's login. What if we, at any cases, that type is wrong? For example, let's small i like here. Let's log out and let's try to log in. Look, it doesn't work. We need to make it like the reducer here to work. Look, now it's working. And that action too, change name. For example, for any cases we forgot to add M and try to change the name. It will not be, it will not get changed because this type should be correct. Now we can change it. To avoid those problems, we should store those strings inside constant. So in convention, in Redux, we just add a file called types.ts and we just export those actions. For example, export const login equals to that action name, login. And just let's do the same with our three actions. I mean that logout action, like that, and that change name action, like that. Okay, now let's go to our actions and reducers and replace those strings with our constants, like that. Login. We just imported from that file, the types file, login, change name, and log out. And just replace those th strings with our constants. Okay, let's do the same in the reducer. Let's import them at, at the top. Let's replace that and replace that and replace that too. This approach is the convention and it allows us to debug easily. So you have to do like that. Now let's go to our first track. If we just go to setting screen, we're gonna notice that if we delete that username and we press dot and we want to get the snippet or the code recommendation, we got nothing. I want the editor suggest me is sign in that key. To do this, we just go to store, open our store file here and do the following. Export type root state equals to return type type of root reducer that could allow us to use TypeScript to help us using our shortcut or our recommendations from our text editor. Okay, so let's, let's just press save here and go here and inside that state, let's just add our root state like that. Okay, if we press save, now let's remove this is signed in and press dot lock. We have here our editor recommendation is signed in and username. And here too, if we just try, we got nothing. But we will add our root state type and press dot again. Now great, we have find it. Username and is signed in. That was our second track. Now our last track that we're gonna implement is object destruction. We just want to make that code cleaner than this. Those are two lines of code. Can we just make them a one line of code? Of course we can. We just destruct that user data object like this. Const and open an object equals to use selector. We just copy that code until user data. Okay? Because our data, our is signed in and username inside that object. So let's destruct it. Look here, we have here is signed in and username is signed in and username 
And now we don't need do those two lines of code. And press save. Great. We've get rid of two lines of code and make it in one single line. That allow us to make our code cleaner, isn't it? Let's try. Login. Now it works. And change name, it works too. There is no any problems with our code. I hope those two tricks and that convention was easy to you. If you need any support or any help, just feel free to contact with me. Thanks for watching and see you in next lesson.